Ever since a summer assignment here at Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Parish in Jamaica, Deacon Evan Jules has been active in the pro-life movement. But he says after his ordination at the end of this month, he'll be able to help stop abortion at the source by converting hearts using the sacrament of confession. It's such an encounter of conversion. It's a personal, uh, intimate moment of change for mm -hmm. a woman or a man who has suffered from abortion because the one who converts his or her heart in the confessional to say that this is not something that I want to do anymore mm -hmm. is open to God's grace and open to that change that will really um, be able to set them on a new trajectory of life so that they don't commit greater wrongs and greater evils or multiply them on top of each other and are able to enjoy the abundant life as Christ wanted us to. Deacon Evans says that even though he looks forward to administering the sacraments, he's still a little nervous to jump right in after the ordination. One of his classmates, Deacon Jeremy Canna, feels the same way. He says he's been counting the years since he first felt his calling at Cathedral Prep High School. Still, he can't believe that the ordination is right around the corner. He says he needed every single year of preparation. This was really the first time in high school where I was uh thinking of the Catholic faith as something that was going to affect me for the rest of my life, not mm -hmm. just a matter of things to know so I can pass an exam. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that not only was it something that I was, it was going to affect me for the rest of my life, but it was going to be something that I knew I could give myself to because of how convinced I was of its truth and of its beauty. Deacon Evans also says that education was crucial in his path to the seminary. He says that he needed to know Christ before knowing how to serve Him. All of those things, facts, teachings, rubrics, catechism notes, are helping individuals to develop a relationship. And I have to know who I would like to have a relationship with in order to love this person. It begins with knowledge. And learning the truths of the church led me to love Him and loving Him naturally led me to serve Him. When we come to know Jesus, we realize that yes, there is someone who loves us, and so because there's someone who loves us, there is a whole meaning to our whole lives. Mm -hmm. It's not simply that we live one year so that we're better off the next year. We live our whole lives full with full meaning because they're meaningful for eternity. Both Deacon Evans and Deacon Jeremy stress that their vocation is one of service, both to God and to the people of Brooklyn and Queens. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.